another quick one today. We've got a top mount. As you can see, the bushing and the link arm is all deteriorated. So this normally happens, they swell like this when you have a drive shaft oil seal leak that you ignore. Oil and rubber just causes it to swell. It swells to a point and then it just starts to fall apart. So pretty easy thing to change. Our replacement bushes are a two-piece bush. Um, you're gonna need a press and like a spacer tube. So the one that I use is a 58 outside diameter and 50 ID. That's so that we can mount this on top of there and then press the bushing all the way out. I'm on my own, so it's gonna be a little bit of a juggle to try and hold the camera and do the press, but bear with me, it's pretty straightforward. So, basically you just gotta get that and that to line up. And just pop that bush through. As you can see, it just starts to let go, and then it just, I mean, there's, I'm putting bugger all pressure on this. Cool, she's out. Oh, my jack handle will seen better days. Alright, so now we just got it out like that. Now, be a smart idea just to clean that up with a wire brush. Obviously I can't hold that and the camera at the same time, so I'll just clean that quick and then I'll be back. Right, so now I've just cleaned all that up with a wire brush just to get the old bits of rubber. Install's really simple. We've got two halves of the bush and a spiraled spacer tube. So you just want to take some of the grease and put it on that outside bit of the bush. Just a good thick smear all the way around. Any excess will wipe off once it's all put in together. So this grease comes with them, so you don't have to buy it. You've got all the bits you need. And then you just take the two halves, push it in, goes in nice and easy when they're greased. Like that. And then just this spiral tube. So I find it's good to kind of twist it as you push it in. And then you just push it in. Now you get to a point where it's trying to go into the lip of the other piece. You've got two choices. You can either lay it on a bench and gently give it a tap down with a hammer, or I find it's much quicker just to gently use a vise. You just have to keep a good eye on this outer bush that it's not starting to push out because if it's pushing out, it means the spiral's got caught. But barely any pressure. Wind it till it stops because then you know the space tube's good the other side. Nice, it moves. There you go, it sits all the way through. Just wipe off your excess grease. And you're good to refit it to the car. Done.